Filmmaking is a tough business, and creating even the most basic, forgettable movie takes an absolutely ridiculous amount of work, let alone making something actually worthwhile. Many directors aren't even content with just doing that for a superficial experience, however, and love to include mind-bogglingly subtle details most audiences are never even likely to spot. From devastating visual storytelling, which will change how you view a film forever, to just a nice little homage from a friendly director pal, these movie details came and went without most audiences having even the faintest idea. And instead of scouring films for them yourself, since we've got things to do and places to be, you can lap all of these ones up to smugly point them out to your friends who are none the wiser next time around. You're welcome. I am the Where's Wally edition of Ash from What Culture, and these are 12 insane movie details you definitely missed. 12. Zed's fate is literally neon signposted. Pulp Fiction. Any card carrying film buff has seen Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction dozens of times, and don't we all know it, Chad? But you probably never picked up on a ludicrously subtle piece of foreshadowing during the infamous pawn shop sequence. After Butch escapes his confinement and prepares to leave, he has a change of heart and decides to help out his fellow hostage, Marseilles Wallace. As he decides on which weapon to arm himself with, in the top right corner of the screen you notice a literal neon signpost reading Killian's Red, though only certain letters are illuminated, reading Kill Ed. Add in the Z from Zed's chopper keys and you've got Kill Zed, which Butch very nearly does while saving Marcellus, ultimately leaving Marcellus and his pals to finish the job. Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. 11. Dwayne Johnson signs Rock to the Gorilla. Rampage. The Dwayne Johnson starring blockbuster Rampage is probably the last movie you'd expect to see anything approaching a subtle movie detail. But props to the filmmakers, here's something that definitely passed you by unless you're familiar with American Sign Language. You see, primatologist protagonist Davis Dokoye communicates with his gorilla pal George through ASL, and a couple of times throughout the movie he says to George, it's me. Except, Johnson's exact signing is rock by tapping one fist on top of the other, which is of course referring to his iconic WWE moniker, The Rock. It's a great little gag for those in the know, whilst completely flying over everybody else's heads. 10. Wakandan ships are shaped like the Black Panther mask. Black Panther. It doesn't take a genius to notice that the Wakandan fleet of ships has a very unique, and presumably aerodynamic, design in Black Panther, the product of Wakanda's highly advanced engineering tech. But deep into the movie's third act, we're given the briefest of glimpses at the underside of one of these ships, which eagle-eyed viewers might notice resembles the iconic design of the Black Panther mask itself. It is easily missed every time, but once you know about it, you won't miss it again. And if you needed any more proof that Shuri is a straight-up genius, here it is. 9. Several character deaths are cleverly foreshadowed. Final Destination Final Destination is another movie that few would expect genuinely clever storytelling from, and yet director James Wong features a number of subtle visual nods to the subsequent deaths of several key characters. For starters, when the teens are boarding their doomed flight at the start of the movie, protagonist Alex's best pal Todd makes throat cutting and strangulation motions to Alex, reflecting his brutal strangulation death later in the film. Elsewhere, after Alex has his fateful premonition and gets off the plane, a scuffle ensues as Billy watches the plane fly through the air, with the plane travelling across his face in the reflection of the airport window. This foretells Billy's grisly demise later, when his head is sliced in half by a piece of metal shrapnel. And finally, there is poor Terry, who stands in front of a picture of a bus shortly after the plane explodes, only to be hit and killed by a bus later on. Amusingly enough, the third film, which was also directed by Wong, runs with this idea and has death leaving clues for the protagonists, hinting at their future deaths in pictures they took at the start of the movie. Even so, this is remarkably subtle for a franchise that has never exactly prided itself on letting the audience figure things out for themselves. 8. Thanos uses the Soul Stone to identify Doctor Strange. Avengers Infinity War There's so much going on in Avengers Infinity War's incredible titan battle that you'd certainly be forgiven for not picking up on some of the finer details of the Avengers fight against Thanos. One of the more memorable moments sees Doctor Strange using his astral powers to project literally dozens of versions of himself, which he uses to try and ensnare the Mad Titan in a cosmic trap. It's ultimately no match for Thanos, who uses his Infinity Gauntlet to disappear the projections and leave only the real Strange behind. 
But if you pay extremely close attention, you'll notice that Thanos uses not only the Power Stone, which is purple, but also the Soul Stone, which is yellow, to fend off Strange's disorientating assault. The consequence of this is that Thanos forcefully whisks away the projections with power before temporarily appearing to knock Strange's soul out of his body with the Soul Stone, as evidenced by the few frames of Strange's astral form catching up to his physical body. Given how the Russo brothers could have just settled for Thanos breaking free because Infinity Gauntlet, it's neat that they actually had Thanos using the specific stones, no matter that most audiences wouldn't ever notice. Strange's soul briefly escaping him is an especially nice touch. 7. The LEGO characters have visible thumbprints The LEGO Movie The LEGO Movie is an undeniably meticulous animated film, constructed with a clear love for the iconic building blocks whilst indicating a brilliantly meta, real-world sting in its tail. And if all that wasn't enough, those who pay the closest attention to the gorgeous animation might notice a mind-boggling detail. When the movie's LEGO characters appear in sufficient lighting conditions, human thumbprints are visible on them. Many times throughout the film, the concentric circles that comprise a thumbprint can be seen, falling in line with the film's third-act live-action surprise. Between this and the animation's stringent adherence to actual LEGO physics, it's surely one of the most detail-orientated animated films ever made. And yet, the main chunk of its viewers won't even notice it. 6. Dennis Nedry dresses like several characters from The Goonies Jurassic Park Dennis Nedry is one of the most memorable characters from Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park, and almost 25 years after the release of the iconic blockbuster, a tweet unearthed a bizarre detail about his off-changing wardrobe throughout the film. Effectively, everything Nedry wears is paying homage to the Spielberg-produced adventure classic The Goonies. First up, Nedry's infamous Hawaiian shirt is clearly modelled off an incredibly similar design worn by Chunk, before he changes into a more work-appropriate grey jacket identical to that donned by Mouth. And finally, the iconic yellow raincoat Nedry wears during his fateful encounter with the dinosaur is just like the one Mikey wears too. Given Spielberg's involvement in both movies, there is no way in hell this wasn't intentional. 5. Carl wears a bow tie because he never learned how to tie a regular tie. Up. Earlier this year, a random tweet about Pixar's classic animated film Up went viral due to its heartbreaking, devastating insight into a minor yet ultimately significant visual detail in the movie. One of protagonist Carl Fredrickson's most distinctive features throughout the film is his signature bow tie. But if you pay attention to the soul-wrenching opening montage of his younger days with his late wife Ellie, he actually wears a regular necktie, which appears to be tied every day by her. And of course, once Ellie passes away, Carl doesn't have anyone to tie it for him, and having never learned to do it himself, he resorts to wearing a bow tie forevermore. A ridiculously sad movie just got even sadder. Who is cutting onions in the studio? Jesus. 4. Luke Skywalker's Force Projection Leaves No Footprints Star Wars The Last Jedi The epic final showdown between Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker at the end of Star Wars The Last Jedi culminates in the revelation that Luke isn't actually there at all, and has instead Force Projected himself from far away. But there is one major visual clue hinting at this if you keep your eyes peeled on the ground during the confrontation. Whilst Kylo Ren is shown to make footprints in the salty ground revealing the red surface underneath, Luke's steps don't affect the ground in any way. There are certainly a few other giveaways, namely Luke resembling a somewhat younger version of himself, but this is definitely the most clever hint, and also the one most easily missed. 3. Abraham Lincoln gets pie-faced just as he got shot Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is an animated film jam-packed with hilarious food-related gags. I hope you picked up on that one. And one of the best truly involves Mount Rushmore's various presidential faces getting pelted with custard pies. And while the faces of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson and Theodore Roosevelt all get hit square in the face, Abraham Lincoln instead takes a hit square to the back of the head. Why, you ask? This reflects the nature of his assassination, where he was shot in the back of the head. Extra points to directors Phil Lord and Chris Miller for even having custard leak out of Lincoln's nose and eyes, as if the joke wasn't already hilariously horrifying or horrifyingly hilarious enough. 2. Chris Hemsworth's wife played Jane Foster for the post-credits kiss. Thor The Dark World 
You probably don't remember all that much about Thor The Dark World, but you might recall that the film's post credit scene sees Thor returning to Earth and stealing a sneaky smooch from Jane Foster. Ah, lovely. Believe it or not though, that is not Natalie Portman he is clamping a lip lock on. The scene was shot after principal photography was completed, and as Portman wasn't available to complete the sequence, a number of models were hired for the climactic kiss, with Hemsworth given the option to choose one. Ultimately, however, he suggested his own wife, Elsa Pataki, who was quickly kitted out in a wig and wardrobe to resemble Foster, and the end result is pretty damn close to seamless. It's certainly a happy accident that she resembles Portman quite a bit, and in Portman's own words, that's why the kiss was so passionate. Perfect. Gross, but perfect. 1. Lester is constantly framed in imagery resembling a jail cell. American Beauty American Beauty is one of the best films ever made about suburban discontent, and because directing several actors to some of the strongest performances of their respective careers wasn't enough, Sam Mendes decided to include some brilliant visual symbolism to boot. Throughout the film, there are a number of images which appear to show put-upon protagonist Lester Burnham framed behind objects which appear to resemble jail cells, representing his own feelings of imprisonment within his bougie middle-class bubble. By far the most impressive of these shots is a reflection of Lester in his computer monitor at work, with lines of code resembling jail cell bars behind which he is trapped. And given Kevin Spacey's recent legal issues, it's become even more eerie and apt with time. Ugh. And that's our list. What other movie details went right over your head? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Make sure to subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this, and don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. Thanks for watching.